what's up guys welcome to another episode of buzz lady quick one today i will be showing you some praise buzz lines i stumbled upon i stumbled upon this video during the week by coco Bays. some of you know coco Bays. is on youtube you can go check out some of his nice work on youtube I will drop the link in the description below so you can go check his channel out coco is a praise machine i call him praise machine he's a praise guru when it comes to praise his groove is on point and his buzz lines his creativity is on point and when it also comes to worship the guy is just extremely good okay he's one of the bass player here in nigeria i respect so much so i'm going to be sharing with you one or two things i got there you can take these things and add to your praise bass lines get your bass let's get started so guys the first bass line he played the first bass groove he played was this of the song although the keyboard player has helped us to know the key of the song with ease i love that keyboard player i love it when keyboard player help other musicians i like it when keyboard player communicates that way you get so um the key of the song is d flat which is also known as my c sharp Okay, and the progression of the song there is your okay so cool he started from six okay he did something going to the four chord you know things like that then from the four chord he's going back to the one chord okay then from the one chord is going to five chord now you won't be playing it just that dry if you notice he locked the groove the muting under it is there and the creativity also there choosing the right note you know things like that now if i want to play adding that ghost note on then the bass line you can do something like this that's for the five to six okay there's different between you playing the bass lines adding the ghost note and you not adding the ghost notes so the ghost notes gives it more color okay makes it sound more groovy the bass line again don't forget the progression six four one five then go back to your six again okay um now the creating of bass line there the passing note there is la la do re mi do fa ba fa so la fa do 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 re mi do so so the number there is six six one two three one four four five six four back to your one chord one one then you go one two three one leading you to your five chord five five then you go again five six seven five then you go back to c six the chorus was mm, mm, mm. 
there's something unique Coco did. This is what he did. Don't forget the key. C sharp. And this is my C sharp. And this is my two. And mind you, the chorus started from the two chord. Now, on the two chord, this was the unique bass line he created there. I love that movement. That was what he did. Yeah. Now you can express yourself beyond what he played. So let me cut the note out. So he did two, six, four, four, two, four, four, two. That was it. This is your one. This is your one. Do re mi fa so da ti do ti re mi fa so. Okay. Two six four four two four four two four four two. Now you need to calculate how many times he played the four two four four two four four two four four two before moving to the one chord. Okay. Two six four four two four four two four four two one six five. One, then it's as if he repeated the same move again. One, five, 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 one, two, two, five, 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 seven, ba, bam, 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 ba, five, 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 seven, seven. <laughs> Sorry, I can't pronounce that seven, seven, seven. Five, 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 seven, seven, six. Six, five, six. Yeah, I need to follow the rhythm. Six, five, six, two. Okay, so that was the movement back to the two chord again. So let me call the tonics of annotation. Re, la, fa, fa, re, fa, fa, re, fa, fa, re, do, la, so, do, so, so, do, re, so, so, so. So do re so 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 ti 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 la la la. So la re. I hope you got it. <laughs> so that was what he did. Okay. Just try and cram the notes. Try and memorize the notes. It will guide you to achieve it. And again, the reading. Try memorize the reading. <laughs> Don't forget the double stroke. <laughs> okay, so that was exactly what he did on the chorus. Okay. I hope you got this. Now the second bass groove there, bass line he played, we are going higher. That's another praise song. Still on the same key. If you notice. progression there he made use of and the movement he did this we are going one walk down to your three then four then three five six two then from two he's going to five da, 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 da. Okay, that movement to five chord is two, three, four, six, five, then five, one, four, one. Because you need to follow how the song goes. Okay, how the praise song goes. So that was it. So we are going do re mommy. We are going five.
after that, there's this leak in between he played on the song. Something like... Kind, kind of uh, sustain on there. That was C sharp major pentatonic. So if you want to end here, go and drop your wand here. This is your wand. This is your wand. So that was it. Major pentatonic. Praise is all about dancing. You know, it, it involves dancing. You can't be playing it like worship. So any of the progression you are, try as much as possible to groove it before going to the next chord progression. Okay, so those muting, always involve them. We are going... So that was what he did there. Okay? He did Do Re Mi Do Re Mi. Yeah, I think I heard something like that. Do Re Mi Do Re. Yeah, try practice that. Do Re Mi La Ti Do. Do La Sa Mi Re Do Do. Pentatonic C sharp major pentatonic. Do Na Na Do Do. That was it. So, one, two, three, six, seven, one, one, six, five, three, two, one. Still on the we are going higher. He did another interesting thing that I love so much. He played another interesting bass line. So it was like, that is the creativity we I'm talking about. Okay. He's just playing around the notes, making use of the notes there on the same key on the C sharp major scale. That was what he was using. He was just playing around the progression. He didn't go outside the box. Okay, one, three, five. Then the next move is two, four, six. Then the last move he did. Okay, two, four, six, two, five. Then he climb up. Then two five. Mm, da. That was it. Do mi sa, do mi sa, do mi sa sa, do mi sa, do mi sa sa. Re fa la, re fa la la, re fa la, re fa la la. Then the last move. Re fa la, re sa, re sa. So that was it. So the last bass line there I want to show you is this. Listen. Oh my god, Coco is a bass player. Coco is good. This is what he did. So that bass line there is progression of that one started from two. Okay. Still on the same key. He did something like this. That was it. So he started from the two. So he did two, six, two. Three, 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 two, one, 
Fa 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 three two five one. Then you went back to three. Three 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 two one five two one. Then five five two five six two. That movement led him to two again. Tony's of a notation there is re la re mi 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 re do fa 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 mi re so do mi 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 re do so re do so so re so la re okay so these are the bass lines hope you got something take this bass line practice them practice them get used to the sound get used to how they are sounding get used to the reading get used to the approach the fingering also matters because there are some fingering if you are using the wrong fingering there are some bass lines you won't be able to achieve Okay, so get this work on them. These are the three bass lines I want to show you. Take it, add it to what you already have, and have fun with your practice. Okay, if you're new to this channel, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. You can afford to miss new videos I upload every week. Okay, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And if you need private lessons from me, every information is right there on the description below. Chat me via WhatsApp, send me an email indicating you want to join the private lesson. It's going to be a Zoom live section, okay? So I can also guide you on how to go about the registration. I will see you in my next video. Bye. One love.